A group working to help homeless veterans says it is still trying to figure out why Tucson Code Enforcement ran it off two separate plots of private property. And now we are hearing another group for the homeless may be behind it. Veterans on Patrol says it specializes in homeless veterans, but works to help other homeless people trying to get their lives together and get off the streets. Now the group is set up at a new location owned by a man who says he will not allow the group to be a runoff. Kagan not in your sides. Craig Smith is live there just north of Santa Rita Park. Well, guy, here we are. This is where that group called Veterans on Patrol has set up to help homeless people with food, clothes, and medical care. But this is their third location. They say they've been run off from two other sites, and we're finding out a group that works with homeless people may be behind this. Veterans on Patrol says it works with organizations like the VA to help vets find permanent housing. It tries to keep them fed, clothed, and healthy in the meantime. Organization leader Lewis Arthur says he has good relations with Tucson police, but City of Tucson code enforcement claimed he was violating city zoning. When I requested the citations themselves so I could verify it, he said he did not have to produce them to me. I told him, yes, you did. So then he calls and another supervisor comes down and they get the property owner who had given us written permission to be there. They threatened him. So he revoked the permission. Then they told us we had three hours to pack up a six to eight hour job or I would be arrested for trespassing. Arthur says Tucson police stepped in and convinced code enforcement to allow more time for the move. Now the group has moved to some land owned by Ian Ornstein of HMS Fasteners. He says even if code enforcement pressures him, he will not be forced to evict a group he sees as doing a lot of good. It's absolutely taking care of people and the veterans are phenomenal. They need to be taken care of. We're a very veteran friendly company and we help and we employ veterans, priority one. And it's very important to help people that have some problems. Now, late today, we learned an explanation, a possible explanation of why code enforcement got involved out here. We heard from a leader of Occupy Tucson, the group that sued the city over restrictions on homeless people staying in city parks. He says he called up the Tucson city attorney and threatened to sue because it looked to him like the city was allowing veterans on patrol to do things it would not let Occupy do, and he said he would sue on the basis of unfairness. Now, it looks like there will be more to come on this story, and we will continue to follow it. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Thanks, Craig.